Hi, my name's Rick Hall. I'm from a company called Ignite, based in Nottingham. And we've been developing a citizen science project called 321 Ignition, where we take over empty shops from shopping malls, pack them full of workshops that the general public can get involved in. And I'm going to qu quickly demonstrate a kind of little item of science busking that we've been developing, for which I need a volunteer. And luckily, here we have one in the person of Margaret. Margaret, this is just a little experiment that just illustrates the power of sound. And what I need you to do is to place your four fingers forward for me like this so I can place these loops of string attached to this highly advanced acoustic material, which otherwise is known as a slinky. Now, Margaret, what I'd like you to do is to place those four fingers in your ears, please. Stick them in your ears. I know it's quite a short piece of string. And can you lean forward so I can drop this, bend forward from the waist, so that I can, a bit more, a bit more, that's it. So I'm going to drop this, and we'll see what sound effects we get. Are you ready to go? Okay. <laughs> well, I can see that it's uh, created some kind of effect. It's, is it Star Wars, or? <laughs> Now, why do you think that it's is? It's like lightsabers through space, sound waves, reverbing. Lightsabers through space. So, yeah. Reverberation. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. It is an, an unexpected, because, of course, you can't really hear this otherwise. I can't transmit it out of my head, no. But no, no. Is, well, there is, is some true. science this behind really it, and the science is, of course, that sound is a wave and has to have a medium to travel through, so it travels through the string and the ends of your fingers better and more effectively than it does through the air. And that's what you're hearing, are the kind of sound resonances of the spring in, directly into your ears. Fantastic. Thank you for taking part. Thank you. Great for you to be here.